But I think the proctoring okay. is really interesting though, because the proctoring, people always ask me about security. Like, aren't people going to cheat? And first off, I don't really know how you would cheat on the LSAT because it's not memorizing facts, right? Like there's only so much you could put on a, a post-it note or an index card that would really help you out. It's more like extra time would be a big benefit, but I don't see a way to game that unless you're like a, a master hacker or something. But they are like, to make sure that nobody's helping you while you're taking it, they've got you monitored with a webcam and a microphone and they're recording everything and they even track your eye movements using what they call AI. Dang, yeah, I, I should have known. Like literally LSAT is not, LSAT is not a play around. When I had, um, <clears throat> When I took the online like writing test, they had me literally like turn my computer around and like like do like a scanning of the entire room to make sure no one was in there and like then they recorded the entire thing. So yeah, they don't play around. I expected nothing but that, honestly, like because they don't they don't do cheating. But yeah, they're very serious about it. And they're also not new to this. The company that's doing the security is called Proctor U. And they they're also doing the GRE, they're also doing the GMAT, they're also doing high school advanced placement exams. So they've been doing this for a while with many other exams too. So they were the natural choice to go to for LSAC to put the LSAT online since they've already got all that stuff figured out. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.